Okay, yeah. Albert, well, I've got a, I, I, we've had lots and lots of emails through on the site mm. asking loads of questions. Um, and it'd be great if you could um, perhaps just have a go and see if we can answer some of these. Oh, what do you think? I'll do my best, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm uh, very happy that there's been so much interest, you know, and I'm happy, yeah. to, happy to answer whatever I can. Uh, well, I've never tried uh, metal finger picks. There are people that, that use them really well, like um, uh, James Burton, for instance. You know, he always uses at least one. You know, and uh, um, Cliff Gallup, one of my favourite players, he, he used to use a couple of finger picks, but um, they seem unnatural to me. Well, I, I use my my fingernails, but uh, they're not they're not. Uh, long enough to really get caught up. They're just long enough to gra grab the strings. And uh, I don't really do anything to them. I, you know, I, there are, I remember Chad Atkins used to use nail polish to, to strengthen it, you know, or, or glue, and uh, get in a terrible pick pickle if they, if they broke, you know. But uh, uh, generally, uh, you know, I try and keep them just so that they're long enough to grab the string, and sometimes I'll break one, and. I have to get through a few days so until it grows out, you know, I don't uh, tend to try and repair it, you know. Have you got fairly hard nails? Um, not really, no, I wouldn't say they are, because I, I do wear them down yeah. quite, uh, quite easily, you know, so I have to take it easy. You know, I was totally un tutored, you know, I had piano lessons, but uh, I just wanted to play the guitar. I couldn't, I could not put it down in the first three years or so. I just kept playing and, uh, you know, I got home from school, I got home from work and I just wanted to play the guitar. And uh, you can't really expect to progress unless you're sitting and playing the whole time. And it shouldn't be work, it should be enjoyment. You should, be, you should long to pick it up, as, as I did. You know, I'm going through this with my daughter. Now, my youngest daughter, who's a great singer, but she doesn't sing, but she talks about being a singer. I said, well, you don't have the, the, uh, you don't have the fire that I had. You know, you get, you've got to do it all the time, you know, and want to do it. Well, it's, it's all by ear for me, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, I don't know the, uh, the names of the scales I play, it's all, uh, it's all natural and, and uh, what sounds good to me, uh, that's, that's, what I, that's what I do, if it sounds odd, then I, I won't play it. And, uh, you know, I tend to repeat myself because I, I've been playing for so long, there are a lot of licks that I, that I tend to do uh, over and over again, but albeit uh, slightly varied each time, but there are standard things that, that I do, uh, but it's all um, through trial and error, really, and what, whatever sounds good to me. I do very well, yeah. We spent a week at uh, AdVision Studios in London, and uh, you know, each day we'd uh, come in, and the studio was full of players. Uh, you know, uh, the cream of, of, the, of the London scene, I guess, at that time, you know. Plus a few others flown in from here and there. So uh, it, it was pretty exciting, you know, everybody was in awe, in awe of him. And uh, he was, uh, he maintained this uh, aura of uh, being the, the tough guy and uh, he'd walk in with his bottle of whiskey and his cigars and put them on the piano and God help anybody that touched them, you know. And uh, we'd uh, run through each song like once or twice and record it, no more than twice, and that would, that would be it. And we'd, we'd you know, we'd have a, a great track. And uh, um, at all times there was at least uh, three cassette recorders running underneath his piano catching every lick. 